more. Hey guys, today I have a little video for you about the stages of going to a sh coffee shop. I am an avid coffee drinker, I love coffee, and I, in the last couple of months, I've also become a barista, so I work at a coffee shop, and so this is one thing I know a bit about. Stage number one, going with a friend. Well, the first time you go to a coffee shop, if you're someone like me, you went with a friend for the first time and you have no idea what to order and you get really nervous because the coffee shop like menu is really weird and complicated and so you just mumble whatever it is that they said and you're like, yes, I want that. Please, could I, could I have one of those? Hi, could I order your mocha with a uh, half a pump of vanilla and some whipped cream on top? What was it that you ordered? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I get the mocha with a half pump of vanilla and some whipped cream? Stage number two is the first time you go by yourself. Odds are you probably forgot what your friend ordered before you the last time you guys went out. And so this time you have to try your best to figure out what's on the board. Now it's a very complicated menu. Typically, if you don't know what it is, it doesn't make any sense. What's a cordata? What's a macchiato? What's a cappuccino? What is it? What's a latte? I have no idea. I just know that people on movies order lattes. Hi, could I get a caramel macchiato? If you want like the Starbucks macchiato, we don't serve that here because we're like a real coffee shop. So if you want something else, we can get that for you. Um, then could I just get a latte with vanilla and hazelnut and with almond milk. Stage number three of going to the coffee shop. Now this is a really great stage. You've gone a few times by yourself and each time it's gone badly, except for once. You order a drink off the menu, you don't know what it is, you just order it and it tastes really good. It's the perfect amount of milk to to like creaminess, to like sugary sweetness, and it doesn't even taste that much like coffee, but you really like it, so you don't care. So you just order that every single time you go for the next year. Could I please have a dirty chai with soy milk? Thank you. Stage number four. This is also a fun stage because it, com it comes with like experimenting. You've got your drink that you know you can order, that you know you'll like. So this is where you start to feel comfortable enough to try those new weird things. Can I get a cappuccino? Can I get black coffee? Can I get an Americano? Can I get a caramel latte with half a pump of caramel? Stage number five is when you become a professional coffee drinker. Your order is so complex yet simple that only you and the barista can understand what you're talking about. If you bring a friend, they're just gonna be like, Ugh, can I have the same as her? You know what milk, you know how many shots of espresso you want, you know exactly how much sweetener you want, and you know exactly what the alternative milks are so you can mix it up on a fancy day. Hi, could I get a 16 ounce iced caramel latte with oat milk, three shots of espresso, one pump of rose and a little bit of whip on, on top. So there is one optional sixth stage and this is becoming a barista. I get a 16 ounce iced caramel mm -hmm. latte with and the, oat okay. milk, three shots, three of, espresso, shots of espresso, okay. one pump um, of rose and a little bit of whip on, on top. And uh, okay, a little bit of whip. Thank you. I have no idea how to make this. <sighs> Those are the five plus one optional stage of going to a coffee shop. I hope you guys enjoy and keep an eye out for next time. Uh, this is just a fun video I wanted to make for a while. Yeah. Um, the next two videos I have ideas for are less like this and more artsy. It's not music. It's not, it's not gonna be the ukulele again. I'm trying to experiment with different video styles right now. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but I have like new lighting set up. Um, 
and I have a legit tripod so I'm not sitting on the floor. Please click the like button if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more, and apparently you're supposed to hit the notification bell so that you actually get notifications for when I upload. Or if you're coming from Facebook or Instagram, just pay attention to my Facebook and Instagram stories. Because that's where I post them. Bye! Caitlin, order. Caitlin, here's your latte. Thanks! I'm a coffee drinker, I'm a coffee drinker.